Hi, Tracy here from Shape Up with Tracy. Today we're going to look at fat. Good fats, bad fats. Fat actually is really important to your body, it's important to your well being. Your body needs some fat every day. Did you know women should have about 20% fat in their body? Men, it's a little bit less. So it's actually probably more than you thought. But it's important that you have the right sorts of fats when they're sitting in the right places in your body. We don't want them sitting around your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, because that's going to make your body have to work much, much harder. That visceral fat is really bad, and that's the fat that we need to avoid. There's also fat that ends up sitting on your thighs, and that we don't want that either. But that's less dangerous to your overall health in terms of cancer, diabetes, and all those heart-related conditions. So we are unfortunately hardwired to eat fat. Historically, being able to eat fat and store fat was really useful to help you survive through really, really cold winters. Unfortunately, that's not something we need to do now, so we do need to moderate the amount of fat that we take in and we eat on a daily basis. So what should, what's good fat, what's bad fat? We talk about saturated fats, we talk about unsaturated fats. Saturated fats are generally solid at room temperature and should be avoided. So if you're looking at a big chunk of meat with big chunks of um, fat on it, that's the bit you need to avoid because it's solid at room temperature. Butter is solid at room temperature. Lard, solid at room temperature. Whereas oil um, such as um, olive oil and rapeseed oil are liquid at room temperature. So they're actually, they're the um, unsaturated ones. They're much better, better for you. You also have trans fats, and there's been lots of bad press about trans fats. They're fats that have been changed by the cooking process, often in processed biscuits and cakes. And again, we should be avoiding those. Did you know that 95% of the fat you eat goes straight into your bloodstream? So you've just had a burger and chips, all of that pretty much is gonna go straight into your bloodstream. Your body doesn't let any of that through, it absorbs as much as it can. Also, if you eat too much sugar or too much carbohydrate, your body will transfer that and make it into fat and store it for later. So it's not just the case of managing how much fat we eat, but also how much sugar and how much carbohydrate we eat. So we have to keep everything balanced and just keep everything in perspective. So what do you need to do to eat a healthy level of fat? Well, think about eating unsaturated fats, the ones that are liquid at room temperature. Think about eating lots of vegetables, lean cuts of meat, thinking about anything with omega-3 in it, which is um, oily fish such as salmon and fresh tuna, and dairy in moderation. Just avoid those processed meats on a regular basis. So sausage and bacon, processed ready-cooked meals aren't great. So if you can avoid those, that would be much, much better. So. In summary, you need to eat a balanced, healthy diet. Not too much fat, not too much sugar, not too much carbohydrate, lots of veggies, lots of water, some dairy, lean meat. Simples. <laughs>